new solar storm warning. Uh, it seems like we're having a solar storm every week now. But uh, this is what's happening. Expected uh, December 3rd. Charged particles from the sun to side swipe our Earth and impacted, uh, impact date predicted. Space weather forecasts bracing for a cloud of charged particles from the sun to side swipe our Earth and have warned of possible solar storm this week. And we're going to see what uh, space weather does. Coronal mass ejection and CME of plasma and magnetic field has escaped from the sun and is forecasted to possibly strike later this week. The CME was cast towards the planet on Monday when a large filament of magnetism lashed out from the sun's bottom half. And according to the UA Space Weather Prediction Center, CMEs can escape the sun at speeds of 560,000 miles per hour to more than 6.7 million miles per hour. At these breakneck speeds, the fastest CMEs can reach our planet in as little as 15 to 18 hours. The space weather says slower CMEs can take several days to arrive. They expand in size and they propagate away from the sun and larger CMEs can reach a size comprising nearly a quarter of the space between Earth and the sun by the time it reaches our planet. And according to the astronomers behind space weather, Monday CME is predicted to possibly strike on Friday. But instead of a direct hit, astronomers predict the CME could land a glancing blow to the planet magnetosphere, that's the region of space dominated by Earth's magnetic field. If the CME does strike, it may lead to some minor geomagnetic unrest, solar storms around the planet. Space weather said minor geomagnetic storms are possible December 3rd, when a CME might sideswipe our magnetic field. This storm could hurtle into space on November 29 by an erupted filament on magnetism on the, in the sun's southern hemisphere. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. According to NOAA's computer models, the bulk of this CME should sail through south of our planet with a near miss, just as likely as a glancing blow. The more powerful the CME is, the stronger the geomagnetic storm felt around our planet. Scientists rank these by a scale of G1 being minor to G5 being extreme. Space weather explains the geomagnetic storm is a major disturbance of Earth's magnetosphere that occurs when there is a very efficient exchange of energy from the solar wind into the space environment around surrounding our Earth. These storms result from variations in the solar wind that produce major changes in the currents, plasmas and fields in our Earth's magnetosphere, so a minor storm is fairly inconsequential though it can lead to a weak power grid fluctuation and mess with satellite operations as well. The most visible effect is the appearance of auroras in the polar circles, the aurora borealis in the north, northern lights as we know, and the aurora australis in the south, southern lights. At the other end of the scale, extreme storms are very dangerous and cause entire power grid to collapse, triggering communication losses, causing auroras to appear as far as south as Texas and Florida, according to Sebastian Kettley of um, Express UK. Now, the, according to Space Weather, we, have, we do have a geomagnetic storm watch December 3rd. Minor geomagnetic storms possible when a CME might sideswipe Earth's magnetic field. The storm could uh, cloud was hurtled into space November 29 by an erupting filament of magnetism in the Sun's southern hemisphere. And according to NOAA, computer models, the bulk should sail through the south of our planet with a near miss. So, Aurora surprise. Forecasters were not expecting this. On November 30th, a sea rotating interaction region, CIR, hit Earth's magnetic field 
sparking a G1 class geomagnetic storm in Abisko, Sweden. But now concerning this one, CIRs are transition zones between slow and fast moving solar wind streams. They contain shock waves and strong magnetic fields that can mimic coronal mass ejections, often producing bright auroras when they arrive. The auroras became very active after the CIR arrived and a powerful corona danced overhead, says Comey. He says, I captured images of the peak of the display and can say that it was one of the best auroras I've ever seen. CRIs are notoriously difficult to predict. This one arrived just ahead of a high-speed stream flowing from a northern hole in the sun's atmosphere. Forecasters expected the stream and its CIR to sail north of our planet, a complete miss. What happened instead was a pleasant surprise. So in this case here, even though they said that the uh, CME would have been uh, a miss, we saw that it was not. Okay, this is according to Space Weather. I'll leave links below for you for this. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.